Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today we're going to take a look at choke and link groups inside a machine and here are a few samples I have, so check it out. And the sample is from a song called Sitting in the Park. It's by Billy Stewart. Pretty cool song. All right, sweet. So really cool song, Sitting in the Park by Billy Stewart. Definitely check it out. And what we're going to discuss is choke groups. So I have these four samples here. And what choke groups are is basically if I play one sample right now. And if I play the second sample over here, it's going to cut the audio of the first sample. So check this out. And this is what the same thing would sound without the choke. So check it out. So that sounds like a big mess. And that's what's going to happen if you import your samples in a group and then you place them around and you play them. They're all going to play on top of each other. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're in your sound tab and then navigate to your voice settings and then change your voice to legato or one. And that way, every time you play the note, it won't uh, keep playing on top of each other and then hit pad mode. So hold down pad mode and then click on this pad mode on the top left screen and that way you're gonna stay inside of this screen when you hit pad mode. And uh, now you have these groups and modes for your choke and your link over here. And what choke means is... So basically when I hit the second pad, I wanted to cut the first pad. So for that, we're gonna put them into choke groups. So let's change the group. You have, you can see we have eight groups over here. So let's change this knob until you see one. So we're gonna change it to one. And now if I play something, it still doesn't do anything is because the second pad is also supposed to be on group one. So let's select this other pad and then change the group to one again on the choke. And now if you play both of them, They're cutting each other out now, which is what we want for performance kits. So now for these other two, I'm going to hold select, select that pad, and then change the choke to one. And you also want to do the same thing to this last pad. So change it to one, and now all of these are in the same choke group. All right, now if I select one of these, and then let's change the mode from master to slave. What's gonna happen is the slave will cut the master when I play, but the master won't cut the slave when it's played. So every time I play the second pad, the first one will get cut. So check it out. But if I do it the other way around, it's not gonna get cut. And you can hear they're both playing at the same time. So this way you can decide which one is slave, which one is master based on your samples. But for now, I have these two hi-hat samples on the bottom right. So you can hear them playing on top of each other. But if I change this to choke group one, then I won't be able to play the open hi-hat and those samples at the same time. because they keep cutting each other out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the hi-hats to group two. So both of them to group two. All right. All right, very cool. Now linking over here is when you wanna play one sample and you want the other to play with it. So what I'm gonna do is Instead of playing them together at the same time again and again, I want the snare to play and trigger the tambourine. So I'm going to change the link to one. And I'm going to change the link to one for both of these. So they're both linked to each other now, which is cool. But I only want this link to be one way. So I'm going to select the tambourine and then change the mode from master to slave. So 
So you can already see how you can make a really dynamic kit by using choke and link groups. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to our channel for a lot more, and we will see you next time. Peace.